Well, yeah, I mean, I, I talk about this in my interviews sometimes, and we, I actually mentioned this the other day. When you, because you had said this in one of our interviews, and it always, it always stuck in my head. You said you and your dad had a conversation early on when you, I guess, when you first got made, and he said, "If we ever do a murder together, the moment we're done, I have no idea. We don't talk about it. We don't mention it. And if you do mention it, I'm gonna pretend like I don't know what you're talking about." Absolutely. That's always struck in my head because I could tell you, you're probably not familiar with this case, but um, a friend of mine, this guy named Tack Stone, just got found guilty of a, a shooting that happened uh, six years ago uh, where someone died. He had been beefing. You know, He was a podcaster who I'd had on my show a bunch of times. He was beefing with this other rapper and they ran into each other at this club in New York. Things happen and you know, the rapper's bodyguard ended up dead. Mm. And, you know, when the case went to trial a few weeks ago and all the evidence started coming out, it was it was a train wreck. So, for example, uh, one of Tax Stone's friends, this other rapper named Casanova, Casanova two times, after the situation happened, as he was leaving the club, he called up a friend of his and said, oh, Tax Stone just, just, just fired his gun. The guy he was calling was being investigated by authorities and the phone was tapped. Mm. So this became one of the pieces of evidence in the trial. And to me, and this is a guy, this guy Casanova has had a long, you know, criminal history. You know, he had been in and out of jail. He was a, you know, a gangster in Flatbush. Mm -hmm. and, and, and my jaw dropped because the first thing I thought was like, why would you call someone and talk about a crime that just happened? A shooting that, you know, whether or not the per he knew the person died or not, I mean, he seemed like he witnessed a shooting with a friend of his. Yeah. Why would you talk about a shooting on a phone? Knowing what could potentially happen. Insane. You're ridiculous. It's a, the dumbest thing you could do. You know, look, my father's advice was, you know, I took that to heart. Yeah. My, my dad said, one second after it happened, if you ask me about it, I'll say, I don't know what you're talking about. Why would we ever talk about it again? Right. There's no reason to. Look, how many guys in my life got in trouble? Saying things, you know, that, all right, they didn't know the place was bugged, but what are you talking about things like that for? With anybody. It doesn't make sense.